Hé hey David Oui c'est où On y va Tiens Popularly known as Zizou, is a French professional football manager and former player who played as an attacking midfielder. He most recently coached Spanish club Real Madrid and is one of the most successful coaches in the world. Widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, Zidane was a playmaker renowned. He had vision, passing, ball control, and technique. He received many individual accolades as a player, including being named FIFA World Player of the Year in 1998. 2000 and 2003, and winning the 1998 Ballon d'Or. Zidane started his career at Cannes, before establishing himself as one of the best players in the French League 1 at Bordeaux. In 1996, he moved to Italian team Juventus, where he won several trophies, including two Serie A titles. He moved to Real Madrid for a world record fee at the time of 77.5 million euros in 2001, which remained unmatched for the next eight years. In Spain, Zidane won several trophies, including a la Liga title and the UEFA Champions League. In the 2002 Champions League final, he scored a left foot volley winner that is considered one of the greatest goals in the competition's history. Capped 108 times by France, Zidane won the 1998 FIFA World Cup, scoring a brace in the final, and was named to the All-Star team. This triumph made him a national hero in France and he received the Legion of Honor in 1998. He won UEFA Euro 2000 and was named Player of the Tournament. He also received the Golden Ball as Player of the Tournament at the 2006 World Cup, despite his infamous sending off in the final against Italy for headbutting Marco Materazzi in the chest. He retired as the fourth most capped player in French history. Zidane was born on June 23, 1972 in La Castellane, Marseille in southern France. He is the youngest of five siblings. Zidane is of Algerian Kabyle descent and has described himself as a non-practicing Muslim. His parents, Smail and Malika, immigrated to Paris from the village of Aguman in the Berber-speaking region of Kabylie in northern Algeria in 1953 before the start of the Algerian War. The family, which had settled in the city's tough northern districts of Barbès and Saint-Denis, found little work in the region and in the mid-1960s moved to the northern Marseille suburb of La Castellane in the 16th arrondissement of Marseille. In an interview with Esquire magazine, he stated, I have an affinity with the Arabic world. I have it in my blood, via my parents. I'm very proud of being French, but also very proud of having these roots in this diversity. His father worked as a warehouseman and security guard at a department store, often on the night shift while his mother was a housewife. The family lived a reasonably comfortable life by the standards of the neighborhood, which was notorious throughout Marseille for its high crime and unemployment rates. Zidane credits his strict upbringing and his father as the guiding light in his career. It was in Castellane where Zidane had his earliest introduction in football, joining in at the age of 5 in football games that the neighborhood's children played on the Place Tartan, an 80 by 12 yard plaza that served as the main square of the housing complex. In July 2011, Zidane named former Marseille players Blaz Sliskovic, Enzo Francescoli and Jean-Pierre Papin as his idols while growing up. At the age of 10, Zidane got his first player's license after joining the junior team of a local club from Castellane by the name of U.S. saint -Henri. After spending a year and a half at U.S. saint -Henri, Zidane joined So Septim's Lay Valence when the Septim's coach Robert Centinero convinced the club's director to get Zidane. Zidane stayed with Septims until the age of 14, at which time he was selected to attend a three-day training camp at the Kreps, Regional Center for Sports and Physical Education, in Aix-en-Provence, one of several such footballing institutes run by the French Football Federation. It was here that Zidane was spotted by his can scout and former player Jean Varad, who recommended him to the training center director of the club. 
As a 14-year-old watching the 1986 World Cup, the performance of Diego Maradona left an indelible mark on him, with Zidane stating Maradona was on another level. Zidane went to Kim for a six-week stay, but ended up remaining at the club for four years to play at the professional level. Having left his family to join Cannes, he was invited by Cannes director Jean-Claude Alino to leave the dormitory he shared with 20 other trainees and to come and stay with him and his family. Zidane later said that, while living with the Alinos, he found equilibrium. It was at Cannes where Zidane's first coaches noticed that he was raw and sensitive, prone to attack spectators who insulted his race or family. His first coach, Jean Verrad, encouraged him to channel his anger and focus on his own game. Zidane spent his first weeks at Cannes mainly on cleaning duty as a punishment for punching an opponent who mocked his ghetto origins. The occasional violence that he would display throughout his career was shaped by an internal conflict of being an Algerian Frenchman suspended between cultures, and surviving the tough streets of La Castelline where he grew up. Zidane made his professional debut with Cannes on May 18, 1989 in a French Division I match against Nantes. He scored his first goal for the club on February 10, 1991 also against Nantes in a 2-1 win. After the match, during a party for all the Ken players, Zidane was given a car by Ken chairman Alain Pedretti, who had promised him on the day he scored his first goal for the club. On the pitch, Zidane displayed extraordinary technique on the ball, offering glimpses of the talent that would take him to the top of the world game. In his first full season with Cannes, the club secured its first ever European football berth by qualifying for the UEFA Cup, after finishing fourth in the league. This remains the club's highest finish in the top flight since getting relegated for the first time from the first division in the 1948-49 season. Zidane was transferred to Girondins to Bordeaux in the 1992-93 season, winning the 1995 Intertoto Cup after beating Karlsruhe SC and finishing runner-up against Bayern Munich in the 1995-96 UEFA Cup during his four years with the club. He played a set of midfield combinations with Bixent Lissarasu and Christophe Dugary, which would become the trademark of both Bordeaux and the 1998 French national team. In 1995, Blackburn Rovers manager Kenny Dalglish had expressed interest in signing both Zidane and Dugary, to which club owner Jack Walker reportedly replied, Why do you want to sign Zidane when we have Tim Sherwood? Also towards the beginning of the 1996 season, according to football agent Barry Silkman, Zidane was offered to Newcastle United for £1.2 million, but the club turned down the offer after watching him, claiming that he was not good enough for the English First Division. In 1996, Zidane received the award for League One Player of the Year. After a series of standout performances for both Bordeaux and France, Zidane had offers to join Europe's top clubs in the spring of 1996, deciding on a move to UEFA Champions League winners Juventus during the close season. Zidane's impact in Italy was immediate, winning the 1996-97 Serie A title in the 1996 Intercontinental Cup. He was named Serie A Foreign Footballer of the Year in his first season. Zidane's growing status in the sport saw him chosen in a European eleven to face a World eleven, featuring a forward line of Ronaldo and Gabriel Batistuta, in December 1997. As a playmaker at Juve, Zidane played just behind forward Alessandro Del Piero, with Del Piero recalling, Zidane had an extraordinary talent, which contributed to his sole interest in helping the team. He was not a selfish player. He had a unique ability to be a great and to be a team player. I was lucky to play with him. He lost in the 1997 UEFA Champions League final 3-1 to Borussia Dortmund when he was unable to make an impression against the close marking of Paul Lambert. The following season, Zidane scored 7 goals in 32 matches in the league to help Juventus win the 1997-98 Serie A and thus retain the Scudetto. In Europe, Juventus made their third consecutive UEFA Champions League final appearance but lost the game 1-0 to Real Madrid. In 1998, Zidane was named FIFA World Player of the Year, and won the Ballon d'Or.
Juventus finished second in the 2001 Serie A, but were eliminated in the group stage of the Champions League, after Zidane was banned for head-butting Hamburger SV player Joachim Keynes. In 2001, Zidane was named Serie A Foreign Footballer of the Year for the second time. In 2001, Zidane joined Real Madrid for a world record fee of 150 billion Italian lira, about 77.5 million euros by fixed exchange rate, in installments, and signed a four-year contract. The latest addition to the Galacticos era of global stars signed by Real Madrid every year, in his first season at the club Zidane scored a famous match-winning goal, a volley hit with his weaker left foot from the edge of the 18-yard box, in Madrid's 2-1 win over Bayer Leverkusen in the 2002 UEFA Champions League final. The goal has been cited as one of the greatest in Champions League history. The magnitude of the strike saw Zidane produce one of his most emotional goal celebrations as he ran towards the touchline with mouth wide open, screaming in delight. It was a moment of Zidane's apotheosis, more so than the 1998 World Cup final, because of the moment's grace and beauty, because of his control of everything around him. He was Brew Champions League final winner. The next season, Zidane helped Real Madrid to win the 2002-03 La Liga, starring alongside Luis Figu in midfield, and was named the FIFA World Player of the Year for the third time. In 2004, fans voted him as the best European footballer of the previous 50 years in UEFA's 50th anniversary Golden Jubilee poll. While Zidane's final season of club football ended without a trophy, he enjoyed success on a personal note by scoring his first hat-trick, against Sevilla in a 4-2 win in January 2006. He ended the season for Real Madrid as their second highest goalscorer and assist provider behind teammates Ronaldo and David Beckham respectively, with 9 goals and 10 assists in 28 games. On May 7, 2006, Zidane, who had announced his plans to retire after the 2006 World Cup, played his farewell match and scored in a 3-3 draw with Villarreal. The squad wore commemorative shirts with Zidane 2001 to 2006 below the club logo. The 80,000 fans inside the Santiago Bernabeu held up a banner reading, "Thanks for the magic." against Manchester United which resulted in a 3-2 win for Real. In April 2013, he was named by Marca as a member of the best 4-11 in Real Madrid's history. Both brands in Algeria consider Zidane a citizen. It was rumored that coach Abdelhamid Kermali denied Zidane a position for the Algerian squad because he felt the young midfielder was not fast enough. However, Zidane dismissed the rumor in a 2005 interview, saying that he would have been ineligible to play for Algeria because he had already played for France. 
Zidane was a member of the French under-21 squad that won a bronze medal at the 1993 Mediterranean Games in Languedoc, Russia. He earned his first cap with France as a substitute in a friendly against the Czech Republic on August 17, 1994, which ended in a 2-2 draw after Zidane scored twice to help France erase a 2-0 deficit. After Eric Cantona was handed a year-long suspension in January 1995 for assaulting a fan, Zidane took over the playmaker position. Euro 1996, despite not being at his best during the tournament, France reached the last four. Zidane was not yet fully established in the French team and his level was quite average during the whole event, but he managed to score in the penalty shootout in both the quarterfinal and semifinal. France was eliminated in the Euro 96 semifinals in a penalty shootout against the Czech Republic. The 1998 FIFA World Cup was the first World Cup that Zidane participated in, the tournament was held in his home country, France. The French team won all three games in the group stage, with Zidane setting up Christophe Duggery's goal in the opening match against South Africa. When I got back to the dressing room, I felt terrible, because I'd let my teammates down. And I was going to miss games. I didn't feel good about it at all. Je le vis, je le vis pas bien. Avec le carton rouge. With Zinedine's red card, that was terrible, terrible. Because we were losing our best player. What were we going to do? I can tell you that we were very worried. I did not want to show it. Seen game against Paraguay and, on his return to the side, defeated Italy 4-3 on penalties after a goalless draw in the quarterfinals, with Zidane netting the first spot kick in the shootout. France then defeated Croatia 2-1 in the semi-final. Although Zidane had played a role in the team's accomplishments, he had yet to score a goal at the World Cup. Zidane and France went on to play against defending champions and favorites Brazil at the Stade de France in the 1998 FIFA World Cup Final. France dominated Brazil from the kickoff, goal deep in stoppage time to seal the 3-0 win in France's first World Cup. Named man of the match, Zidane became an instant national hero and would receive the Legion of Honor later that year. More than 1 million people lined the Champs-Élysées in Paris, with celebrations centered around the Arc de Triomphe. Two years later France won Euro 2000, becoming the first team to hold both the World Cup and the European Championship since West Germany in 1974. Zidane finished with two goals, a bending free kick against Spain in the quarterfinal and the golden goal in the semi-final against Portugal with a penalty. UEFA named Zidane player of the tournament. Zidane dominated a major championship in a way no individual had managed since Diego Maradona in 1986. From the opening game against Denmark to the final against Italy, Zizou shone brightly, casting a spell on his opponents with clever flicks, mesmerizing step-over runs and masterful vision.
quelque chose à Christian et Lilia lui dit l'inverse. Il n'y a qu'une voix, il n'y a qu'une voix. Si je dis quelque chose à Christian, il ne dit pas l'inverse. Après, il ne peut pas faire. Roberto Carlos, laisse-le là. Je fais Laisse-le là, c'est un Après, il me dit que tu l'as fait. Non, ça ne pas. Après, on arrêtera de gagner, mais pas avant. Avant, non, avant. Lui, il reste en laps avec moi. As reigning world and European champions, France entered the 2002 World Cup in Japan slash Korea's favorites but a thigh injury sustained in a warm-up match before the tournament prevented Zidane from playing in France's first two matches and without their talisman, the French team failed to score in either match. He was rushed back prematurely for the third game despite not being fully fit, but could not prevent France from being ignominiously eliminated in the group stage without scoring a single goal, the worst performance by a defending champion in the history of the competition. At Euro 2004, France topped their group with wins over England and Switzerland, before being knocked out in the quarterfinals by eventual champions Greece in a surprise 1-0 loss. In the opening match against England, Zidane scored a free kick and penalty in stoppage time to turn impending defeat into a 2-1 victory. After France's elimination, Zidane announced his retirement from international football. With the mass retirement of veteran key players such as Bixent Lisarasu, Marcel Desai, Claude Makalele, and Lillian Thuram, France struggled to qualify for the 2006 World Cup. At the urging of coach Raymond Domenech, Zidane came out of retirement and was immediately reinstated as team captain. Zidane, along with Thuram and Makalele, made his competitive return for France in a 3-0 win over the Faroe Islands on September 3, 2005. The trio helped France rise from 4th place to win their qualifying group. On May 27, 2006, Zidane earned his 100th cap for France in a 1-0 friendly win over Mexico, in what would also be his last match at the Stade de France. Zidane became France's 4th player to reach 100 caps, after Desailly, Thuram, and Didier Deschamps. France had a slow start to the 2006 finals and, after being suspended for the third match of the group stage, Zidane returned to set up a goal for Patrick Vieira and score one himself in the second round match against Spain. In the quarterfinal France held Brazil to just one shot on goal in the rematch of the 1998 final. Zidane assisted Thierry Henry's deciding goal and was named man of the match by FIFA. France faced Portugal in the semi-final and, as in Brussels six years earlier, Zidane's penalty kick decided the contest and sent France to another major final. Having already announced he was to retire after the expiration of his Real Madrid contract at the end of the 2005-06 season, the world of football already knew Zidane's second World Cup final was to be the last match of his career. 7. Zidane put Cup history to score in two different finals, along with Pele, Paul Breitner, and Vava. In addition to being tied for first place with Vava, Pele and Jeff Hurst with three World Cup final goals apiece. 
He almost scored a second goal during the first period of extra time but his header was saved by Italy's goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon. Zidane was then sent off in the 100 though he did not participate in the penalty shootout, which Italy won 5-3. This marked the song as the only players ever to be sent off during two separate World Cup tournaments. He also became the fourth player red carded in a World Cup final, in addition to being the first sent off in extra time. Zidane's actions made headlines all over the place. Keep asked, what should we tell our children, for whom you have become an example forever? How could that happen to a man like you? Zidane had received plaudits for his performances during the tournament, with Pep Guardiola writing he exerts so much influence on the team that France are never disorganized. The day after the final, Zidane was awarded the golden ball as the player of the tournament. Upon his return to France, the Place de la Concorde in Paris was filled with thousands of fans waving flags and rhythmically chanting Zizou. Zizou, and tributes were led by the French president Jacques Chirac. Chirac's words reflected the feeling of the French public, with polls done in the immediate wake of the incident showing support for Zidane. 61% of French people said they had already forgiven him for his actions while 52% said they understood them. According to French journalist Philippe Auclair, Zidane's performances in the knockout rounds were ranked among his finest in a blue shirt. As the player of the tournament, Zidane had given the team hope, with the French daily newspaper Liberation stating, for a month, France was dreaming with Zidane. Zidane remained an icon to the French public, and one French writer stated, it's good for us to see our national hero as fallible. It was later revealed through interviews that Marco Materazzi had insulted Zidane's sister, which led to Zidane's heightened anger and reaction. In 2010, Zidane said that he would rather die than apologize to Materazzi for the headbutt in the final, but also admitted that he could never have lived with himself had he been allowed to remain on the pitch and help France win the match. He later said, if you look at the 14 red cards I had in my career, 12 of them were a result of provocation. This isn't justification, this isn't an excuse, but my passion, temper and blood made me react. Following his red card in the final, Zidane retired from professional football and confirmed that he would not go back on his decision. He was sentenced by FIFA to a three-match suspension for the red card. As he already retired, he agreed to complete three days of community service with children in one of FIFA's humanitarian projects. Zidane ended up tying with Brazil's Cafu for the record for most cards given in World Cup matches, with six. Many authoritative voices have acclaimed Zidane's skill, skills and importance in the history of football, such as Brazil coach Carlos Alberto Pereira, who called Zidane a monster for his performance and abilities. German coach Franz Beckenbauer stated, Zidane is one of the greatest players in history, a truly magnificent player. Italy manager Marcelo Lippi, who also coached Zidane, opined, I think Zidane is the greatest talent we've known in football these last 20 years. Former England manager Kevin Keegan said, You look at Zidane and think I've never seen a player quite like that. What sets Zidane apart is the way he manipulates a football, buying himself space that isn't there. At his vision and it makes him very special. At the 1998 World Cup, Italian manager Cesare Maldini said, I would give up 5 players to have Zidane in my squad. In terms of ball retention he was probably the greatest player of all time. Blessed with such grace and supernatural awareness that he could play a game of real-life Pac-Man and never be caught. Rob Smith of The Guardian on Zidane's ball control Among his playing peers, Swedish striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic commented, Zidane was from another planet. When Zidane stepped onto the pitch, the 10 other guys just got suddenly better. It is that simple. David Beckham has described Zidane as the greatest of all time. Barcelona star Xavi has stated in a 2010 interview that Zidane was best player in the 90s and early 2000s, while Brazilian defender and former Madrid teammate Roberto Carlos has said of Zidane, he is the best player I've seen. Supporters arrived earlier at the Bernabeu just to see him warm up. Brazilian playmaker Ronaldinho stated, Zidane is one of the best footballers of all time, one of my idols. He had such elegance and grace, her and growing up he learned from his idol by watching him on television and online for hours. Displaying skills with an array of moves such as his signature La Roulette pirouette, stepovers and close ball control, former Brazilian international Rivaldo stated, his elegance of movement on the pitch and his skills are uncanny. 
Journalist Zidlo wrote, Zidane was football's answer to the Bolshoi Ballet. Zidane was elegance above all else. In 2005, upon Zidane's return to the French national team, his teammate Thierry Henry stated, In France, everybody realized that God exists, and that he is back in the French international team. Zidane has been lauded by sportsmen outside football, having witnessed Zidane's goal against Deportivo La Coruña in January 2002, where he dragged the ball right then left, turning the defender inside out, before scoring with a left foot finish, basketball player Magic Johnson stated, one of the most inspiring nights of my life. Zidane is a phenomenon. Labeled a flawed genius by ESPN, Zidane possessed an exceptional first touch, and was also known for his dribbling skills, use of feints, elegance on the ball, and creativity. He was capable of using either foot, despite being naturally right-footed. His technique and coordination enabled him to execute shots and volleys with extreme power and precision, in particular from outside the penalty area, he was also a free kick and penalty kick specialist. A world-class offensive playmaker, Zidane's natural position was in a free role as a classic number 10 behind the strikers. He was also capable of playing as a second striker, or in a more withdrawn role in midfield, either as a central midfielder or deep-lying playmaker, due to his ability to orchestrate his team's attacking plays from deep with his vision and passing. Thus, he was capable of both assisting and scoring goals, despite being neither the most prolific goal scorer nor the most productive creator throughout his career. While not known for his heading ability, his height and physical strength also allowed him to be effective in the air and saw him score several crucial headers throughout his career. He also drew praise from his managers for his defensive work rate. Despite not being the quickest player, he possessed good agility and acceleration, as well as exceptional balance and flair on the ball. He also had excellent positional sense and outstanding spatial awareness. Although he had a reserved and humble character, his former Juventus managers Lippi and Ancelotti also praised Zidane for being a team player on whom his teammates could rely. Notwithstanding the acclaim that Zidane received from pundits over his playing ability, he also drew criticism in the media over his temperament and discipline, and for his occasional violent conduct on the pitch, which led to instances in which disciplinary action was taken against him, he was also accused by some in the sport of drifting in and out of games, and of lacking leadership qualities, although he was able to establish himself as a consistent and decisive player who was also an influential captain at international level throughout his career. Zidane has been named FIFA World Player of the Year three times, a feat achieved only by Ronaldo, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. In 2002, ESPN described Zidane as the greatest player in the world in the world's biggest game. In a 2002 FIFA poll, Zidane was selected in the FIFA World Cup Dream Team. In 2004, he was voted UEFA Best European Player of the past 50 years, and was named in the FIFA 100 list of the world's greatest living players. In a 2004 poll conducted by French newspaper journal Du Dimanche, Zidane was voted as the most popular Frenchman of all time. In 2014, in a poll carried out by French TV channel TF1, Zidane was voted as the best player in the history of the French league. In 2016, in a study led by French newspaper Le Parisien, Zidane was named best French player of all time. Ça 
Oh, 